joy that someday you are going to die. There's never been a devil like me. No, there ain't. Hear about. Yeah, yeah, you can say that again. Oh, there's never been a devil like me. She looks lovely lying there, doesn't she? I painted her myself. <laughs> Why did this have to happen? <laughs> Life is but a shadow through which we all must pass to reach that bright tomorrow. Yes, but she's so young. Why did you come to the city? Why couldn't you stay home with your mommy? <laughs> Oh, let's go home, Mother. Wait, let me kiss my baby. Oh. Uh, Mr. Lamb, may I talk to you a moment alone, sir? Yes. <laughs> I've always found it best to give my bill at this time. It helps take your mind off your bereavement. Grief therapy, as we call it in the industry. <laughs> $1,250. Well, it's not our best funeral, but I... $1,250. See, you've forgotten your griefer already. You, you advertise $144.98, not $1,250. But, Mr. Lamb, you don't expect to get a funeral like that for nothing. Why, the silk in that box is worth at least $144. And then there's the hearse. And then there's the flowers. Now, the flowers are a big item, and then the... I won't pay any $1,250. Oh, yes, you will, sir. You signed a contract. Or at least your wife did. Didn't you, Mrs. Lamb? You're both horrible to talk about money at a time like this. I earned my money, Mrs. Lamb. That girl of yours had her legs chopped off. How would you like to have to sew plastic legs on a cold corpse? Of course, I could have skipped the legs and uh, given her a junior length coffin. <laughs> that would have been more economical, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. And her throat. If you could have seen her throat. <laughs> oh. You'll pay. You'll pay. My new dress? Yeah, yeah. And my hair, do you like it better up? Yes, it's very nice. Harry, will you turn around and look at me?
Harry. What? Why won't you marry? <laughs> Honey, I can't even afford me. But I'm going to jump out the window if you won't marry me. Hey, Employment Bureau, uh, would you uh, please send me over a new secretary? Yeah, I have one that's about ready to leave. Thank you. I hate you, Harry Glass. great little business around here. You know, it'd do a lot of good in this place. A white tornado. You watch too much television. You have any better ideas? Mm-hmm. Uh... Spike, Doc! Anybody around? Oh, hiya, Mr. Glass. Spike will be with you in a minute. That's what I like about this place. The service. Don't pay attention to Doc. His mind is elsewhere. Buried in those books they say he's always reading. There's nothing wrong with studying. According to the grapevine, he was kicked out of medical school because he was very, very weird. If you ask me what I think... I ask you what? What's Duncan Hines recommend in this food palace? Specialty of the day. I'll try the lamb. You'll like it, baby. My friends call me Anne. You may call me Miss Poultry. Poultry? As in barnyard? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that funny. Okay, chicken. I'll have a specialty spike. Give me two orders. Two orders of what? You didn't even tell him what we were ordering. We don't have anything else. Hey, uh, you read about that new murder? No, Sally Lamb? Yeah, yeah, that's a shame, real shame. I wonder if that was her father who came in the office today. I like to read things like that. Paper shouldn't print that stuff. Two specials, lamb's leg. What's the drink? I'll have coffee. I'll have a BM. Buttermilk. <laughs> hey, Spike, what is this? Lamb. That's not lamb. Taste it again. Well, oh, baby, you taste it. Come on, honey, it's a bad joke. I'm sorry I brought you here. This joint would give Mr. Clean nightmare. Aw, oh, chicken. You give the place a bad name. You think so? Wait till I call the health inspector. You wouldn't do that. Oh, Come on. wouldn't I? Later, later. Good night. Miss Poultry.
kitty, kitty. One of them was probably wearing this. Well, that doesn't give you much to go on. Makes the fifth murder we've had with these vicious mutilations of the body. But it's the first time there's been something to point us in any direction. There were three of them. We know their physical proportions by their boot prints. We know that they were riding motorcycles. And we know the kind of tires that were on the cycle. You can't go around checking every tire in the city. No, but we can send a description to all the shops. Come on, Harry, now you know the procedure. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just uh, want to make sure you catch him. That would help if you could tell us something. I've already told you everything. I don't know anything. Well, Ann didn't have any enemies, and she didn't hang around the motorcycle crowd. I can't really tell you much more. She only hated one guy, and that was me. And she wanted to marry me. <laughs> Crazy kid. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, Harry. Me too. Well, if you hear of anything, you'll let me know, won't you? Sure. And I don't want you trying to take things into your own hands. No, no, I won't. Uh, but you will let me know if you hear anything. Sure. Thank you. See, I want to hang around here a while and look around. OK. OK. Who are you? Mr. March, your friendly undertaker at your service. Go away, Fulcher. I, I don't need you. Oh, but you do, sir. Yes, you do. Whether you want to admit it or not, you can't do without me. Now, something has to be done. And since this poor dead girl has no relatives, and since you are, I mean, 
were her employer. How do you know? <laughs> it's my business to find out these things. Well, or you might as well handle it. What's the difference? Now you're talking. I do as good a job as anyone, and I don't mind saying that my services are far, far more complete. I handle everything right from the beginning to the end. Sign here. How much? $144.98. 98 cents? Well, this is a very competitive business. <laughs> There's no price on these contracts. Well, we do that. You know, sometimes there are a few extras. They don't amount to much. <laughs> well, uh, I'll just fill in. 144.98. No ups, no extras. Mr. Glass, you are making a terrible mistake. I'd better not be. Sorry, Mr. Glass. She would have thought. You and her were just in here a few hours before. I'd sure like to get my hands on those bums. If you find out anything, you let me know. Me and Doc. Doc! Mr. Glass is going to get the guys that killed this chick. If he needs any help, we're going to go help him, okay? That's uh, Spike. Yes, sir. Do you have a donut? Doc, we got any donuts back there? They haven't been delivered yet. Begin the operation. The scalpel is used to make a deliberate cut. The cut should be no longer than necessary, and yet not too short either. The cut should not be too short. <laughs> Size and shape of the scalpels vary greatly. But regardless of the variation, the scalpel should always be sharp. Somebody gonna come in here and get you? Just put them down over there. What are you reading? Surgery. Oh, you're gonna operate on people? Why not? Well, no offense, man. Say. How come you never order any meat? So much vegetables like lettuce and celery and onion and ketchup. Your company charges too much. Not any more than anybody else. So why order from somebody else? Spread the business around, you know. Who do you order your meat from? That's none of your business. I wanted you to just get out of here. I'm studying. You know, my boss will make a good price on all meat, all age. We serve fresh meat. Mm.
What'll it be? Well, let's see. I think I'll have the fried shrimp. Sorry, we're out of fried shrimp. Well, then give me a hot dog. Don't have any. Well, what have you got? Uh, we still have some leg of lamb. Or how about the specialty of the day? All right, give me the chicken. Uh, how would you like that order? Light meat or dark? Breasts of chicken usually have light meat, don't they? You got a point there. What is this, candid camera or something? No, sir. I'll tell you what, instead of the chicken, give me a pie. A big piece or little? The whole pie. <laughs> Do you have a box? Yeah, sure. Well, I came to pay my last respects. That's very thoughtful of you, sir. You are a very thoughtful man. Cut the sarcasm. I'd like to see her, please. She's behind the drapes, but... Uh, what? Remember, sir? You wouldn't let me add a few little extras. With a little extra, I could have restacked it with foam rubber. Remember, sir, it was you who said, no ups, no extras. Association doesn't approve of low-priced funerals, but when the needy need help, I always try to do what I can. Gratitude. That's what this world needs, is gratitude. Yes, I am. I thought so. You know, my sister told me you were very handsome. I told her I was going to work for you. What kind of work do you do? Mm -hmm. What do you think? <laughs> you tell me. I'm a typist. Oh. Well, am I hired? What's your name? Call me Friday. No, but what's your name? Friday. My sister didn't tell me you were hard of hearing. You're not one of those kooks, are you? <laughs> Silly. Do I look like I'm kooky? <laughs> uh, no, I don't think you do. Well, good. Now that we have that settled, do I get the job? No, uh, why don't you go downstairs and have some dinner, and when you get back, we'll talk it all over. Well, that's a very good idea. You got any money, honey? <laughs> you bet. Oh, you're a doll. Mm. See you later, boss.
Hello, baby. What can I do for you? The question is, what can I do for you? You mean it? No. I just wanted to get your reaction. Uh, say, is uh, this place on Diners Club? Ha, ha. I'll have a hamburger. Don't have any. Well, I have a pain because I haven't eaten. Where's your pain? Get the patient ready for surgery while I scrub up. Good thinking. You ready? My, my, my. What's wrong with her? Who knows? I'll explore. Stop her. didn't get rid of the fly. What is this? Deodorant. Check a respiration. Hey, okay. Nothing wrong so far. Isn't she beautiful inside? Where's the anesthetic? Everything was going so well, too. Right to the end. Pity. Well, at least my operating technique is getting better, huh? Can't win them all. What are we gonna do with her?
Don't say it. What's he doing? Where's the rest of the girl? In the back. You're a couple of dirty double-crossers. Why? You agreed that I would get half, but we did this job alone. I could have used what you wasted. Remember, we specifically agreed that I could bury Doc's mistakes. I don't know what this world is coming to. A man can hardly make a living these days. No ups, no extras. What happened to your head? He shaved with it. Oh, shut up. I'll get sore. I'm sorry. I'm a little on edge with the end of the month coming and bills to be paid. We won't let you down. Don't worry. We'll help you. Tonight? Tonight. believe me, but I've made up my mind. I'm gonna quit next month. You know what I'm gonna do then? <laughs> I'm gonna get married again. <laughs> oh, I know, I know, I'm a three-time loser, but this time it's gonna work. What do you think about that, Tempest? Rep. I just want to let you know that we got a lead on the murders. One of them lost his license plate. Well, who's it belong to? The undertaker from Shady Rest, uh, Mr. Mort. Ain't that something. Well, you know him? Well, our men are going to pick him up. Say, maybe you can help us. Do you know who he associates with? No, no, I don't, but I'll find out.
happened to your license plate? I lost it. Where? I don't know. Don't bother me with things like that. Now, look at my neck. Oh, great. What? The cops will find your license plate, then they'll find you with a bullet hole. Our goose will be cooked. I'll have to operate. Oh, no, you don't! No! Get him up by the tail! Oh, there's no time to operate anyway. Why? The cops will be around looking for him. We'll get rid of him fast. Where? <laughs> Charlie the stoolie, please. No, he ain't here. Well, would you uh, tell him Harry Glass is calling? Oh. Hey, Charlie. Uh, listen, I need some information. Can you tell me who Mort the Undertaker hangs out with? Guy Shady Rest? Just a minute. Know those two nuts who run the greasy spoon? Yeah. They're the ones. Thanks, Charlie. You'll waste the night. What a noise he made. He was a bad sport, if you ask me. Turn out the lights and let's be scarce for a while. Hours. I'm not Friday, Mr. Glass. Well, who are you then? The Queen of Sheba? I'm Thursday. Friday's my sister. We're identical twins. Where is she? Oh, why? I don't know. I thought you did. That's why I've been following you. You know, Friday's a kook and uh, she needs a chaperone. Are you sure you don't know what's happened to her? Yeah, I'm afraid I do. Come on, let's get out of here. Where are we going? Well, you're going home. Oh, but I can't. Why not? Well, I uh, told my mother I was spending the night with a girlfriend, but my girlfriend's out of town. Well, uh, you can stay at my place. Well, thank you. Are you 
you sure you're not Friday? Detective Jennings? Oh, Johnny, this is Harry Glass. I have some information for you. Shoot. The Undertaker's pals are the two guys that have the cafe near my place. Are the Greasy Spoon? The evidence is inside. Where are the suspects? Well, they're out for the evening. Uh, they open up at 7 o'clock in the morning, so you can find them there then. Thanks. Friday about a strong, good-looking man, and off she goes. <laughs> you know, Harry, you can't be a playboy all your life. The girl must have hurt you, <laughs> but I won't. <sighs> Go.
What <laughs> happened? We're out of gas. Oh, anybody but you and I wouldn't believe it. I'll be right back. Now all I need is a mat. I'm sorry, Thursday. Those goons got your sister. Why, those dirty, rotten... Oh, I could just tear them apart with my bare hands. Two of them are dead. Mort's going to get his. I'll see. <laughs>
don't make them like Harry anymore. Well, it's finally over. I hope so. We don't need any unnecessary violence in this world. Nature makes enough of its own. Still, a certain amount of evil always creeps in. And we must just strike it down. And all the chicks are there I ain't the kind of fella Just to stand around and stare Cause I believe in action My soul is pleasure bent And though I dig the chick I pick It's never permanent Oh, I cut in yeah, yeah. I cut up yeah, yeah, yeah. And cut out Yes, he do, yes, he do, he really do Oh, there's never been a devil like me oh, there ain't. Here about Yeah, yeah, you can Cause I love to love them all Oh, I cut in yeah, yeah. And I cut up yeah, yeah, yeah. 